we, had a, we, had, we went into it hoping to get this guy that we knew do it. He got grabbed for another script. So, so then we moved to a, a lesser choice to play the man playing in transition. Um, then we decided to go with a woman. Yeah, you have no idea how much I appreciate that you flew all the way back to the hangover. This the weekend is going to be a fucking blast. Um, starts, uh, so it, it, speaking of uh, like film challenge contest day, we uh, we did a one minute movie challenge that started the first day of the festival and you had basically the week. <laughs> 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 Alright, I think it did told to make a film that lasts for one minute or less. And uh, so uh, tomorrow we're going to watch the films that the various people have turned in starting at 2 o'clock in the afternoon over Grand Illusion ads, like absolutely completely free. And so there's no reason that you guys should be able to do it. And it's, we'll see what people came up with. Uh, all right, we really want to see my film, but she sold out her things in like three days. So uh, we thought, hey, come on by, we'll, we'll throw it on later for some shorts so you guys can enjoy this. Oh, I mean, the. the Yeah, here we have a pretty serious documentary. It's actually really rare that most people don't jump back and forth between, you know, narrative and documentary. Uh -huh. And so what was the, how did you end up doing that? Um, you know, I like, I like finding the story of wherever it is, whether it's something that I'm writing or something that I'm trying to find with all this footage. You know, in this case, I had, uh, the Wayne Luke approached me about this documentary and they were like, well, we can get you access to this other documentary called This Is What Democracy Looks Like, and that's what the WTO footage was from. And, and access to uh, Densho footage, and then when uh, KUOW ran a story, they were like, you know, the, the museum calls up the station, it's like, can we get access to that footage? So there was like tons of content, and then it was a matter of, you know, how do you weave it together a story that's going to make sense in context of the exhibit that they had going on, in context of the committee that helped create the exhibit, and kind of reflect everybody's kind of beliefs and values, and pull it together in a way that, that holds as a film. Yeah, no, a lot of people write a documentary. They're like, what do you mean you write a documentary? You turn on a camera, you like follow people around. But so what was that, that writing process like? It's a matter of finding where, where, where the story lies and what story you want to tell. There, there was a definite, like, uh, act structure to that. And you, you worked in TV, right? With yeah, TV a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so I've done, done some stuff with them. And, you know, there's a definite act structure in terms of you want to, there's a story arc you want to tell. You don't have control over where the story is, but you know what the outline is. And then it's a matter of finding what are the sound bites there that, that help put that together, what's the image that I want to put together, and then how do I do both at the same time so that it's weaved in an interesting way. Yeah, Mike, there was another crew shooting the reality stuff. Okay. But I was, so they gave me a book the first day I showed up. They said, oh yeah, here's the book. Of the, and at some point she's going to talk about something that happened in this book. And then I, I recreated what happened in the book, but we didn't know what she was going to talk about. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I had to have like all this stuff ready to go and all the different characters and of course I had to match all the actors with like <coughs> what they look like but yeah I, I know exactly it's taking uh, and their role in social justice and many forms across all different races and they wanted to try to communicate this message that just because an Asian is involved in social justice it doesn't mean they're just fighting about so Asian issues um, but that meant you know th there's lots of different ways you can portray that story and there's lots of different reasons why people come at that story. So at the end, I was trying to tell this story that it was, yeah, it was an Asian American lens, but it ends up being the American story in whatever context you want to tell, and finding the best way to weave that together. Uh, we had a definite, I think it was a six act structure that went through there in terms of the different values we were trying to portray, and there was an evolution, and we kind of tie it to um, Gordon Hirabayashi. We use his, uh, him as the central character. He's got a definite story arc, and then we just kind of use everybody else to kind of reflect upon that and how they were similar and kind of the things they, they examine. You know, so at some point, you know, we, we talked about the issue between like, do you go nonviolent or do you go violent? And we brought in this uh, Mike Tagawa, who was an Asian American and a member of the, of the Black Panthers, which most people don't know that there were other people outside uh, the African American community that were members of the Black Panthers. And he tells us, you know, point of view that you know is contrast with some of other uh, the other people 
it, you know, it makes that kind of conflict that makes the, the whole story work. So the, the crew I kind of interact with, and then you created this film to be like a companion piece? Yeah, it was new one. I was trying to bring up yeah. transmedia casually, yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. And that would have, that's what it was. There's um, also a, a, you know, kind of an, inter, uh, an interactive, uh, uh, like, there's uh, uh, Adobe Flash based presentation that goes with it, and they wanted just like video um, and, and you know, like video clips. And I was like, I'm not going to do video clips, I'm going to do a full document. So you're just going to check out our Trend Media Gallery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, 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 uh, yeah. just full of like video art, uh, yeah. interactive installations. We have this project, you can put it on, you walk through this documentary. Uh, video games that uh, all these kids from uh, Digipen, a video game college, uh, made. There's like 22 different uh, student made video games. Uh, but it closes tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's kind of the last day that it'll, it'll be completely set up uh, at, at 8 p.m. But you can get there as early as noon. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, we have like, I don't know, five, six, seven hundred films submitted to us, and, and we end up watching a lot of films. And like the, the, a lot of times the feature films, you know, you're kind of sitting at home watching them. And uh, it's just. But with short films, like about once a month, we get together with our whole team, like 20 people, who sit in our office and like drink beer and uh, eat pizza, and we throw on these short films. And I remember this one particular Saturday, we threw this film on, and it, it you know, we always are we will debate, and it's like, hey, we like this, we don't like this, but we threw this on, and it got just the biggest, craziest reaction. Two minute movies at Stitch, first annual. It's taking. Uh, and their role in social justice in many forms across all different races. And they wanted to try to communicate this message that just because an Asian is involved in social justice, it doesn't mean they're just fighting about so Asian issues. Um, but that meant, you know, th there's lots of different ways you can portray that story. And there's lots of different reasons why people come at that story. So at the end, I was trying to tell this story that it was, yeah, it was an Asian American lens, but it ends up being the American story in whatever context you want to tell and finding the best way to do that together. Uh, we had a definite, I think it was a like six act structure that went through there in terms of the different values we were trying to portray and there was an evolution and we kind of tie it to um, Gordon Hirabayashi. We use his, uh, him as the central character. He's got a definite story arc and then we just kind of use everybody else to kind of reflect upon that and how they were similar and kind of the things they, they examine. You know, so at some point, you know, we, we talked about the issue between like, do you go nonviolent or do you go violent? And we brought in this uh, Mike Tagawa, who was an Asian American and a member of the, of the Black Panthers, which most people don't know that there were other people outside uh, the African American community that were members of the Black Panthers. And he tells us, you know, point of view that you know is contrast with some of other uh, the other people. It you know it makes that kind of conflict that makes the, the whole story work. So the, the crew I kind of interact with, and then you created this film to be like a companion piece? Yeah, it was new one in transmedia. So I was trying to bring up yeah. transmedia casually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly, and that would have, that's what it was. There's um, also a, a, you know, kind of an, inter, uh, an interactive, uh, uh, like there's a, a Adobe Flash based presentation that goes with it, and they wanted just like video, um, and like video clips, and I was like, I'm not going to do video clips, I'm going to do a full document. So you're just going to check out our Trends Media Gallery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, like it's, it's uh, yeah. just full of like video art, uh, yeah. interactive installations. We have this project, you can put it on, you walk through this documentary. Uh, video games that uh, all these kids from uh, Digipen, a video game college, uh, made. There's like 22 different uh, student made video games. Uh, but it closes tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's kind of the last day that it'll, it'll be completely set up. Uh, at, at 8 p.m., but you can get there as early as noon. Yeah, yeah. thanks so much. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, we have like, I don't know, five, six, seven hundred films submitted to us, and, and we end up watching a lot of films. And like, the, the, a lot of times the feature films, you know, you're kind of sitting at home watching them. And uh, it's just, but with short films, like, about once a month, we get together with our whole table, like, 20 people who sit in our office and, like, drink beer and uh, eat. Uh, and we throw all these short films, and I remember this one particular Saturday, we threw this film on, and it, it you know, we always are we will debate, and it's like, hey, we like this, we don't like this, but we threw this on, and it got just the biggest, craziest reaction. To, um, so, let's see, 
Minute Movies is we meet monthly at Seattle Film Institute, and every month we have a different theme. Um, and this year at STIFF, um, there used to be a film challenge as part of STIFF a while back, and they haven't done it for a while. And so Tim asked if we would run the film challenge for the festival. And we did, and the theme was media. And we're going to watch a bunch of different people's interpretations of what media means. Second way to select uh, the theme every every um, every month, and um, we have a minute movie ball that we normally select, but for the special stiff edition, we made the uh, amazing spinning wheel of transmedia minute movie um, that you'll see in this first film. Yeah. When we select the film is the Man on the Street interviews and ask people what comes to mind when you hear the word media whatever the theme is for the month. Alright, we're just gonna... Yeah. Is that, because the filmmakers aren't... So, yes. And what's yours? Is it, are they all Mine's, just called medium? Media? Media? Um, no, mine's mixed media, it's the last one. The theme for this week, for the special oh, movie edition of Cat Stiff. Um, yeah. So... Let's see. Minute Movies is, we meet monthly at Seattle Film Institute, and every month we have a different theme. Um, and this year at STIFF, um, there used to be a film challenge as part of STIFF a while back, and they haven't done it for a while, and so Tim asked if we would run the film challenge for the festival. And we did, and the theme was media, and we're going to watch a bunch of different people's interpretations of what media means. Second way to select uh, the theme every every um, every month, and um, we have a minute movie ball that we normally select, but for the special stiff edition, we made the uh, amazing spinning wheel of transmedia minute movie um, that you'll see in this first film. Yeah. When we select the film is the Man on the Street interviews and ask people what comes to mind when you hear the word media, or whatever the theme is for the month. Yeah. Is that because the filmmakers aren't? So, yes. And what's yours? Is it? Are they all mine's, just called medium? Media? Media? Um, no, mine's mixed media. It's the last one. The theme for this week for the special oh, no. minute movie edition of Cat Stiff.